I'm, 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 supposed to be, I'm supposed to read a letter, but I want to share a short story with you of what, how I happen to be here. I, uh, it's a story of a, of a dinner table in uh, my hometown, Damascus, where I grew up. It's a dinner table where my mom and dad, my banker brother, my, my sister, my two other sisters, we used to sit around and have dinner and listen to music every day. It's a, it's a dinner table that I miss quite a lot. <laughs> Uh, Syria was full of love. It was the capital of, luck, capital of culture, Damascus once. Uh, we grew up in a cozy, lovely apartment where we were very sheltered and all we knew was peace and love. And uh, that has changed in 2011. I, uh, I was an English teacher back then. I, uh, when the protest, when the peaceful protest started in Syria, I took to the streets. I remember my first protest. I was walking alongside the, the doctor, the lawyer, the banker, the schoolboy, the, the mother, the sister, the wife. And for the first time in Syria, I could hear my own voice. For the very first time, as I am chanting freedom, everyone chanting freedom, equality, liberty, that's the first time I heard my own voice. Sadly, it didn't last for long. After, uh, after protesting for a year, I got caught by my own police force, and I was thrown in prison for 15 days. Um, 15 days, I was tortured, electrocuted. Both of my arms were broken, two of my ribs. I almost lost my left leg, uh, but I lived. I got out, and I'm so glad that I got out because I didn't want to die in a prison cell tortured by my own police force. This is not how I imagined myself ending up. Thank you.